Welcome or welcome back to Tractor Doctor TV. Today guys, we're going to put the points in this old 641. So before we get started, I want to give you guys a little bit of a back history on this on this thing. This thing as some of my followers know this thing drives me bananas. Um, the problem I've been having is it will start and it will run for a little bit. In fact, I started, the last time I, this thing has moved, I started it up and has proceeding to head from the farm over to, from the, what we call the farm on most videos, over to my farm, and I made it about halfway and it died and it wouldn't start again. So. I've been trying to figure that out, and I've talked with a friend of mine, because when you get a, a problem like that, or you're, you're just frustrating you to no end, that's kind of when you go, hey, mechanic buddy, I have this problem, what do you think could be my issue? Well, he's a, the gentleman I talked with is a little, little bit older, and he was telling me that when he worked for Ford, that he had, had a similar problem with, um, I think, something about the same model era and his, he was telling me that the problem was as the condenser was working to a point to the point that when it got warm it stopped working so he said he suggested to replace the coil and the uh, points the condenser and all and see if that might remedy the problem now before unfortunately I'm waiting for a new Bendix for the starter for this thing. I don't have a starter, a backup starter. So we won't be able to start it in this video, but I will show you at least how to put the points in. So guys, I think we're about to that point. So let's get started. So okay, now we're looking there at the points. So the first thing I want to remove is these two bolts. There's a that nut there. And then we'll um, take the screws out here the one should be one here and there's one back here and then there's one all the way back here behind the uh, condenser and we'll get these points pulled guys actually we probably should start at that bolt or that nut right here and oh poopy so that one bigger? Okay. Well, see if we can get it to come off this way. Sorry, guys. I know I'm gonna. There it goes. Okay. That there's the wire for the condenser. And then we'll continue to remove that nut. Remove that, which looks like somebody has repaired in the past. There's that. I like to screw that on. While we're working on taking this off, guys, I want to give you a really quick little tip. When you go to work and go get the new points, Take them out and take them with you to Orsland's or TSC or even into the house if you're going to go order them through somewhere like Steiner. Oh, that's right. I forgot I loosened that. So, and that screws out and don't let it fall. All right. There's the points. They're out. So there's... Oh. These, these are points right here. So the next thing you do, and this one's actually going to be the easiest. This is the easiest one I've, one of the easier ones I've done. I like to grab the coil, the condenser, because there's that screw right there on the end, and they're easy to be lost. And it looks like. Ford has planned for that because there's screws right here to pull that off. And I may, somebody may, hey, you know you can take that plate off, right? 
So, <laughs> well, there's that part. We're almost done, guys, actually. Now, I got my kit. I went, we went Crazy D, my, my uh, brother, and I went over to, um, I get it, we can see what's all here. So, you can see there's a rotor and condenser. Uh, my hand's in the way. Sorry. Find it. There. There's the condenser. And then there's the new points over here by my finger. That's the new points. And like I was saying before, go ahead and go in. Go to work and take them out. And uh, take them with you when you go to like Orsland's or TSC or wherever you or when you even if you go into the house and to, to, like I said order them through like Steiner or Yesterday Tractor or whatever whatever your your choice of places to get um, your points and this one you, you screw it is about that far and then you do the same on this one, you get it about where you need it. And we're actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to where it's on a flat. And I'm not gonna tighten that down. But then I put it in backwards. I think I put the screws in backwards, guys. Hold on. So, just bear with me a second. And, uh, so make sure you put the screws back the way they came out. Like I said, I think I put them in backwards because, well, well maybe not. Maybe not. So, and there might, should be that screw here at front. Might, um, should have had a little star washer and it's, it's just, was changing of points. Sorry, I know my hand's in the way, guys, there, but I was changing the points. That might have been um, just misplaced. Uh, what did I do with my box? There's my box. So now, you get this screw lined up and pushed through. Sometimes if they're not, like this one is not connected, the uh, sleeve on here, see this, 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 this sleeve here, uh, where is it? here's the sleeve, the sleeve here, when they're not connected, I like to sometimes reuse them, just for the sheer fact that it's already formed to the, uh, uh, shape but I don't think I'm going to this run okay got the condenser in which is just like I said just a screw there's a screw right back here and you can see me it's just right back here um now guys and this completely depends on your uh points and Sometimes they come with this little tab, and it has the, the, the um, whatever the distance it is, it's supposed to be, and you want to get it to a, what I call a flat. So, to explain that, on your distributor, you have, on, a, on this one it's four, you have four lobes. You have a lobe here, you have a lobe here, you have one back here, and you got one right over here. Alright, so anyways guys, like I was saying, this shaft here runs down and it runs down through and it hits this shaft here. So, well, this part actually don't hit that shaft, it is that shaft. But, ooh, it looks like I have a, I have a parts distributor. Anyways, so, like I was saying guys, so 
we get that. You have this. So the motor's running, and when it does, as it goes, it see right here. There's a, it's on a lobe, which opens these points. Well, kinda. And then it comes around back to a flat, and it goes back around. And each time it comes up and over the uh, lobe, it makes a it makes a break in the contacts, which. So, like I was saying, it was every time it, it, those points break, which breaks the circuit, and when it breaks the circuit, which this c cable here, there's a line right here, this one here, runs over here to the coil. So every time this, every time these points open, it breaks the, the uh, circuit. So when it breaks the circuit, it sends a burst of elect electricity down through this wire here, which goes into your, what do they call, I call the bug, but your rotor, which puts the spark, which transfers the spark through, through here, and into your spark plug. So that's one reason why firing order is so important. But I figured I'd share that little bit of info with you guys. So let's go back and let's finish this up. Um, let's go to work and we'll go ahead and attach that there. If I can get it to real quick here. Let's go to work and come on now. I know you go on there because I watched, I just took you off, buddy. All right. This is what scares me. I'm losing that nut down there. Come on, thread you, little buddy. There you go, buddy. All right, kiddo. Let's get you back to here. Let's get that snugged. Let's snug that up. Put that there. And then we take. Where did my little wrench? Go? Okay, take the little wrench, which is uh. uh 5 sixteenths or the one of the few metrics that uh, transfer over will be either that or it'll be an, you can use an 8 millimeter which is this one happens to be so now let's get this back like I said on the flat and we need to shove that to there and then tighten this so over to it's there, it's like that, which should come out. Now, in theory, that should open the points to. All right. So this here is the, the uh, this little little thing, key that comes with it is what I call them. So what I did there with this little key is you, it'll there that little key. I'm going to zoom in. All right. So this little key here is uh, supposed to be the distance that the points should be set at for the um, optimal ignition, and it's kind of nice of the company that I got mine through. To send that, you may need to a find it in your book, and to for you know what it, the uh, man your manufacturer of your tractor recommends, and um, to go from that. But other than that, guys, that's the points. So, guys, that's the points in a nutshell. It's pretty forward, it's straight and easy. Um, some might be a little bit, will be a little bit different. And like I, I said a couple times, take the parts with you when you go get, go get the parts for it. That way you make sure you get the right ones because just because the packaging, if you get them like through somewhere like Orslan's or, or Tractor Supply or whatever like that, just because they say they work for your tractor doesn't mean they will. So that's the nice thing to have is to make sure they look the same. Um, other than that, guys, click subscribe, give it a thumbs up, 
Uh, share it if you feel if it's worth sharing. And like always, guys, thanks for coming in and watching. Bye.